everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am only gonna be eating Percy Pig themed food for the next 24 hours. I don't even know where this video idea came from. I just saw, I think I saw Percy Pig or something Percy Pig come up on my TikTok and I was like, hmm, that could be a really fun idea for a 24 hour challenge because I know they've expanded the Percy Pig range so much in m and I was having like a little Google last night and I was like, wow, okay, there is so much stuff that you can actually get now. So I went out to m and this morning and as you can see here, I have got a big bag full of Percy Pig stuff and it is in a Percy Pig shopping bag. Gonna lie, it cost me an extortionate amount of money. The stuff that I'm gonna show you cost me 50 pounds, which I'm not entirely sure how it has cost me 50 pounds because if I went to Asda or Tesco and bought the exact same stuff, pretty sure it would cost me no more than 20 pounds. So um yeah, very expensive, but I'm excited for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please smash a huge thumbs up. And other than that, let's get started. This is so random, but I just found these Percy Pig Ultra Absorbent Kitchen Towels. Cannot find any Percy Pig food anywhere, but I can find kitchen towel oh no i've spotted my first two things we have got a chocolate percy pig coin and percy pig blondie baking mix oh my god that's fun okay we can make some blondies i'm struggling to find any actual percy pig food but i found so many percy pig chocolates and sweets so i guess we're just gonna have to get an array of these sweets to eat for the next 24 hours and i found more chocolate i've got a percy pig chocolate lollipop oh something a little bit different we have got some jam sandwich creams these look really nice I had no idea they did ice cream. Percy Pig five mini curly tails. How cute do they look? Thank God I found some actual normal food that is not sweet. Percy Pig potato shapes. I feel like I'm going to be having these for breakfast, lunch and dinner. I've just seen they sell these as well. Percy Pig fizzy fruit juice drink. I have got a pack of four, but you can also get them in the meal deal section. And I found another Percy Pig drink. This is the Percy Pig smoothie. It's quite watery, but sounds really nice. As you would have seen, I went to M&S this morning. So I'm going to do you guys a little haul. Now there is a lot of Percy Pig stuff that I couldn't find. Like, I googled and I saw that they apparently did Percy Pig cereal, they did Percy Pig pancakes, Percy Pig porridge, and I could not find any of that in the shop anywhere. So a lot of what I'm going to be eating is a lot of, like, sweet stuff, which isn't ideal, but we're going to go with it anyway. So, first thing, I got some Percy Pig 5 mini curly tails. It's basically, like, Twister lollies, just pink. Then I actually bought some normal pancakes because I thought I was going to be able to find the Percy Pig, like, strawberry sauce. Couldn't find that. I got my Percy Pig blondie brownie baking mix which we're gonna make later i got a smoothie with apple grape juice and raspberry puree i got these fizzy fruit juice drinks with apple and grape juice got a pack of four of those then i managed to find these cupcakes these are nine mini percy pig party cupcakes the kitchen towel honestly i don't know why i got this i mean i need a kitchen towel anyway and the fact that it's got percy pig on it i just thought it was really cute and then i saw they actually had some plates so i thought why not eat off of the plates whilst we're doing this video these are what i'm probably going to be eating the majority of these these are Percy Pig potato shapes and these are like the only real like actual food item that I got. Everything else is like sweets and stuff. I got some strawberry milk thinking I was going to be able to find some Percy Pig cereal. I never found it. Got some chocolate. I have got some jam sandwich creams and then I have got sweets and more chocolate and some drink. I think what I'm going to do, this is the Percy Pig Fizzy Pop plant-based sweetener. Oh, no added sugar. Nice. Okay, this sounds nice. My plan for today is we're actually going to have some drinks on the terrace, hence why I bought this Percy Pig pig drink here and these cans because gonna have to slightly cheat the challenge a little bit because i could not find percy pig vodka weirdly i don't think they're gonna do percy pig vodka as you know it's a child sort of brand so i am just gonna put normal vodka but just use like my percy pig drinks as my mixers and i think these are actually gonna be really nice mixers so i'm excited to do that what do i have for my first meal though that is the question i mean it's more lunchtime rather than breakfast so i don't really have a lot of choice maybe we'll go for the smoothie or maybe i should say that for tomorrow morning actually because i feel like that's more breakfasty we'll save that for tomorrow morning maybe i'll just have an ice cream right now because i'm not gonna lie i'm quite hot i have purchased a fan finally so my kitchen should start to cool down but i'm thinking let's just have a lolly to start off this video because I'm, i don't really want to eat too much this morning anyway because i'm gonna be drinking so yeah then we can come back tonight and have my lovely potato shapes for dinner these actually sound really really nice I'm excited to try one of these. Oh, they look yummy. I cannot believe how many Percy Pig things they actually have now. But how many Percy Pig things that I couldn't find? Like, they do so much in this range now, which is really good. I mean, it's a good money maker, isn't it? Because you're going to take your kids around and they're going to want everything Percy Pig. But yummy. 
Mmm. Because I don't really... Oh my god, brain freeze. I don't really like normal twist isolies. That's going to be very controversial because I know people love them. But they're just not one of my faves. Like, I'll have it if it's there. But I think it's because I just don't really like the green bit. I don't know. But this is so much nicer with whatever, like, flavour this has got in. Percy Pig flavoured ice cream with strawberry fruit ice swirl. Mmm. I will absolutely be clearing the box of these over the next 24 hours. Because with Manchester, I'm in a bit of a heat wave. I say heat wave. It's going to be hotter next weekend. Next weekend, it's going to be, like, 27, 28. But it's going to be, like, 22. And when I went out this morning to go and get all this stuff i was boiling mm, this is so yummy i'm gonna have this then we can prep all of the drinks for when i go to the terrace okay so i'm gonna bring these to the terrace with me i have got my percy pig fizzy pop which i think will actually be really nice with some champagne or prosecco and then i've got these the percy pig fizzy fruit drinks and then to put in them i've just got these two little bottles of au vodka and i'm gonna take up my little percy pig lolly as well just in case i get hungry i have a slight confession to make it is currently three minutes past ten I don't really know how this has happened. However, I think it is working weirdly in my favour because obviously, as you guys saw from the shopping that I got earlier, I don't have a load of main meals to cook. It's more just kind of like snacky bits. So the fact that I went out day drinking today kind of made it easier to do this challenge because I wasn't in the house to want to cook a meal. So I am back now. It is, well, now four minutes past ten and I am going to have some food. We literally went out for drinks on my roof terrace. Didn't film anything, but I did have some of the Percy Pig drinks and they were so good. I'll try another one in this video, but we have the cans and like mix them with the vodka 10 out of 10 would recommend but we went there and then came back got changed and then went actually like out out for a drink and then now i am home so i'm gonna cook some percy pig little potato things and then we're gonna make some brownies because i'm starving haven't eaten since i had that percy pig lollipop so i'm very excited to eat some food i've literally got to get up to go to london in the morning and i'm gonna bake at 10 o'clock at night but this just looks so fun blondie baking mix i've never actually baked anything out of like one of these jars before and it says i just need to add Add some butter and two medium eggs which i do have so so excited for this but for now here is my dinner these are percy pig potato shapes is it cheating if i have sauce with them probably but i feel like i can't really eat these plain and i did look for some percy pig sauce but they didn't have any so i'm gonna put some of these in the oven look how cute these look they are literally just little pig shaped potatoes they kind of look like hash browns actually I need to see how long i need to cook these for 14 to 16 minutes he's gonna go in the oven for okay now it's time to bake also if you you can hear a noise in the background it's my fan finally got a dyson fan like i mentioned earlier but i'm not gonna lie it was saving me earlier and then i walked in and it all hit me like a ton of bricks i think i just have to admit defeat with the fact that i'm just gonna boil in this flat but do i literally just mix everything together add all of the ingredients in the bottle and then mix cook for 25 minutes or 30 minutes if you want them more cake like oh my god that is so easy okay I need to start getting all this stuff out they're gonna have actual percy pigs inside and chocolate chips and they look like fudge something like that i think i'm gonna need like a knife or something to get all this out i just feel like this isn't gonna come out very easy there we go this is such a cool idea. I've got some of these in my cupboard, actually. And when I got sent, like, um, cake mix in a jar. Oh, there's, like, loads of sugar stuck at the bottom or whatever that is. Flour. There we go. Two eggs. In they go. And then I need to add some butter. Not gonna lie, brownie is actually one of my favourite desserts. I love, I don't know if any of you have tried them, but the Betty Crocker ones, they are unbelievable. I just feel like when you go into, like, a restaurant or something like that, the brownies just do not hit the same as the Betty Crocker ones. There's just something about them. I absolutely love. Why do I have a feeling this mixture is going to take me forever? Do I need to add water? No, literally just this. I just feel like it's going to take me forever to mix. It smells so sickly. A bit of the sweets in this. Well, they're blondies actually, not brownies, aren't they? But oh, it just smells sickly. This is the definition of a cheat weekend. Having Percy Pig stuff for 24 hours. Literally for my dinner, I'm having Percy Pig potato shapes and Percy Pig blondies. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I think I'm going to be here a while mixing all of this up because it's very thick. I have to be a bit of a baker here. It probably would help actually if I used a wooden spoon, wouldn't it? Maybe I should just stop using the cutlery. I have a cute little wooden spoon actually with my name on. It says Anastasia's Kitchen on it. There we go. I feel like I'm going to be able to do it way easier now. Why was I trying to mix a full brownie mix with a teaspoon and then a knife? Okay, I feel like I've mixed this as much as I possibly can. There's just a lot of... So scared this is gonna go flying off the edge. That's as good as it's gonna get. I just realised I don't have any greaseproof paper, so I might just have to put do I put butter on? I don't think I've got anything to spread it with. You know what? They're going straight in the pan. Am I gonna regret this? Most definitely. This is the thickest brownie mixture up to the door I've ever had in my life. Normally they're so runny when I make brownies, but she's serving thick. Look at this. Right, let's spread. 
spread this round the tin. We have finally got the brownie in the tin and this is gonna go in the oven for, I think I'm gonna do 30 minutes just to make sure, because I do want them gooey. I like to make the sure things that are like very cooked. So I'm gonna put this in and then we can get the potato waffles out in like five minutes. I just started eating my dinner um, and my camera said memory card error. I don't know why it keeps doing this. I'll be filming for like 30 seconds and then the whole clip will just delete. I need to purchase a new camera basically. Started eating these potatoes. I have cheated slightly. I put a little bit of chuff on my nose and my plate because I can't eat these plain. They're just gonna be awful. But they are the softest potato, like freeze potato that I think I've ever had. Burnt my finger, getting them out of the oven as well. So that is killing me. But it's so soft. Like I literally just, I have pulled apart. These are really good. I don't think I'd want to have them if I didn't have the truffle mayo. Like, oh, these would be so nice with beans. Like, I used to love as a kid chicken dippers, smiley face potatoes, and beans. That is like a banging dinner. Such a nice, nice throwback dinner. This is what this is giving. If I had some beans with this, this would be gorgeous. This truffle mayonnaise from Heinz. I know this is a perfect video, but get yourself on this. Mm. I'm sitting at my dinner. My blondies are in the oven. We need to have a drink. I'm going to have one of the perfect pig pounds, actually. Because they were so nice earlier. Like I said, with vodka. I don't recommend this is the drink it's the percy pig fizzy fruit juice drink with apple and grape juice and it was so nice with the vodka so i know it's going to be nice without but i just can't believe how much percy pig stuff they do now in m and Mm, so yummy the only thing is you know when you mix a drink with vodka then when you have it again it just still tastes like it's got vodka in it it's one of those but i would have this all the time as a mixer because it's that nice it just tastes like general fruit juice just with yeah just with like a fizz i guess mm, this is good i love the pink cans too in my fridge it looks so cute i haven't told the camera up here because of the light but i am now all tucked in bed i've got my percy pig but i actually took my blondies out of the oven but they were so hot that i want to let them cool down and i'm gonna have them for my late breakfast tomorrow slash lunch before i leave but I'm now going to lay in bed and I'm going to indulge in some of these Percy pigs. I'm so excited. I've got the Percy pig fizzy pigtail ones. Then I've got the Percy pig normal ones. It has been so long since I've had a normal Percy pig. I honestly don't think I've had one of these in over a year. You forget how good they are. Mmm, wow. I love Percy pigs. I remind me a bit of drumstick squashies, kind of. But something else as well. I don't know what else it is. But anyway, I'm off to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning for more Percy pig themed food. Good morning, everyone. It is now the next day. And I am going to have a very Percy pig themed breakfast. So I forgot that I actually bought these plates. I should have eaten off them last night. But we have got these plates. And then for my breakfast, I cannot believe I'm actually having this this early in the morning. I've got a chocolate coin. We have got some jam sandwich creams. We've got smoothie which obviously is very like morning perfect i guess and then we've got some party cupcakes so it literally is going to be a little percy pig party for breakfast my hair looks so much longer because i'm actually off to london again i'm going to start another vlog after this because I'm going to see Beyonce again tonight. I'm so excited. I've already been to see her twice. Byron and I bought tickets and then I went with Primark and tonight I'm going with Pretty Little Thing. I thought I'd save myself some time later and do my extensions this morning because originally I was going to have my hair up. This is so random for this video, but anyway. I was going to have my hair up, but then I found out we're getting cowboy hats. So I was like, okay, I need to have my hair down. So extensions it is. So this is the Percy Pig Apple Grape Juice and Raspberry Puree Smoothie. Mm. So weirdly because I know it's branded Percy Pig So you would think it's going to taste like a Percy Pig But because it's a smoothie I was like oh it just tastes like a smoothie It actually has that like very sweet taste to it Wow that's yummy That is lovely Now we've got our little Percy Oh my god that's so cute There's little Percy Pig tails on the back And then it's got the smiley face at the front But the little tail detail is so cute I'm going to assume these are just going to be like Jammy Dodger sort of biscuits Mmm, biscuits like this are so nice. I never buy anything like this anymore, like jammy donuts or whatever, but wow. This is making me realize how much I love kids' party food. Yummy. I have got this big chocolate coin, but I think I'm gonna take it on the train with me. Instead, I'm gonna have my cupcakes. It's got a little sweet on top. Mm. These cupcakes I probably could finish in one mouthful because they're tiny, but... Mmm. Oh, that icing's like raspberry icing. I don't think I've ever tried raspberry icing before. Normally it's like strawberry. Wow, that's so yummy. Mmm. Just feels so wrong eating this at this time in the morning. Well, I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Would have really loved if they had, or if I could have found, like the Percy Pig cereal or the strawberry syrup sauce. And, oh my God, I'll pop in the TikTok here. In some MSs, they're doing Percy Pig slushies and calling the caterpillar slushies. They didn't do it in the one that I went to yesterday. And I didn't even know they did the slushies. And then when I was telling everyone, 
born yesterday that I was filming this video. They're like, oh my god, have you seen this on TikTok? So if you have a fairly big M&S next to you, maybe go and check if they do them because I can imagine it would be so, so nice if I could find one of the slushies. But yeah, I couldn't find one in Manchester. I mean, if you know whether one is in Manchester, please let me know down below. I think I have a newfound love for Percy Pig stuff and I don't normally shop in M&S, but I definitely would go to M&S just to pick up a few like Percy Pig bits because it tastes so good. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please smash a huge thumbs up and I will see you very soon for a brand new video. Mwah. Bye.